Terry Was a Monster by Reddit user Lindsay Springs Being a correctional officer at a prison on the death row wing is usually pretty tame. I work 12-hour shifts, usually overnight, as they can be the most interesting. Most of the time I cross paths with the men and women who have pretty much accepted their fate and don't cause much of a fuss. Those individuals have been on death row for a while, in most cases. They watch their court appeals and attorney visits dwindle down with each month or year that passes. Being on death row is slow moving and unnerving for the individuals who sit among it. What some people don't know is being sentenced to death does not mean you're immediately taken to the electric chair or injection site. You sit in a small cage for 23 hours out of the day in most cases and await word from your attorney. An individual can be given a DOD, or a date of death, be strapped in, and believing that their last moments are upon them, and their attorney can call and make an appeal, prolonging the process altogether. It rarely happens that way, but it is possible. Most people on death row live out their days in their cells, drawing or writing. Last week, an inmate, whose name I won't release here, wrote an apology letter to the families and friends of his 24 victims. His last wish was that they all receive a copy, although I'm not sure that they ever will. Most inmates come in and somber their way across a finite number of days until their execution, and they don't put up any kind of a fight. They've been through the court processes and had a determination made, and eventually accept their fate for the heinous crimes that they've committed. Most of them. Terry, however, was a different kind of death row inmate. He was a monster. Of course, Terry isn't his real name, but Terry was the hardest inmate I've ever had the pleasure of dealing with. His final tally was 50-plus charges of murder, all involving premeditated and gruesome tragedies. He murdered entire families, people by themselves, and even people he knew. The crime scenes were absolutely brutal, and when he was brought in, he would recount the murders with an evil smile on his face. Terry didn't even try to plead insanity in court because he was horrifically proud of his slayings. He laughed throughout the entire time his victims' families or friends spoke. His utter disregard for human life was disgusting. Terry got only an hour of sunlight a day. That hour was always one that we all dreaded, as we knew that Terry would conjure up some kind of destruction if he had the chance. He had instances where he would break out into violent episodes in his cell after being brought back inside even cases where he would brutally attack other correctional officers. Terry was a monster. Each day, dealing with Terry was a nightmare for everyone in the prison. He would scream for hours on end, or yell horrendous atrocities at us as we passed by his cell. He would laugh as he yelled through the concrete wall at other inmates and tell them how he would brutally dismember their families if he got the chance. Every single day he would destroy his cell and everything in it just to have a shot at injuring or killing other officers. Terry was a monster. The reason I am telling you all this is because two days ago was supposed to be Terry's DOD. I say supposed to be because at the final second before his death something went wrong with the injection process. He didn't die, and instead endured tremendous amounts of pain, and since the Eighth Amendment gives us all the right against cruel and unusual punishment, he'd get a shot at another long and strenuous court process. But Terry was a monster, and I couldn't, I wouldn't allow him to continue this process and the endless torment of his victims' families. His entire existence only brought pain and brutality to this earth. That is why last night I waited. I waited until the other guards were doing their rounds. I waited until the full moon was the only light that shone through the small window of Terry's tiny cell. I waited as my bones broke and rearranged themselves. I waited as fur sprouted and my uniform ripped violently from my body. I waited as my canines extended and my snout elongated and my eyes lit up like a brilliant fire. I waited until Terry awoke from his sleep and thought it over to his urinal. I waited until Terry finished relieving himself and turned to face me. I waited as Terry yelled in absolute horror at the beast before him. As I gently unlocked his cell, my gaze never once leaving his. I smiled a big toothy grin with a joy unmatched as he trembled in fear and begged for his life, just as his victims had before. 
As I tore at his chest and ripped flesh from his bones with my teeth, I made him suffer to the fullest extent, a possibility that he never would have had by lethal injection. As his streams deteriorated, I turned to the moon with a blood-soaked maw, and I found myself smiling yet again, because Terry was a monster, but so was I. <laughs>